All right, one thing that uh, a lot of these trailers have in common is we've got this cable here that uh, you need to plug in to your vehicle that's towing in order to power on the tail lights and whatnot. But these things are always in the way. Uh, when you pull it out of the, the connection, you know, you're always in jeopardy of ripping this out. So I've got a solution that I'm going to see if I can get installed and um, see if we can take care of that issue. So what I've done is I've picked up a couple of items off of Amazon. These were uh, really low cost. Uh, I think total, both of these together were like $12. Um, one is this mounting bracket by Reese Tow Power. And um, this will permanently mount uh, the cable end on the trailer and making it easy to add a second cable that will plug into the trailer and then plug into your, your vehicle. And that's what I've got here. So this is, uh, let's see, Hopkins 47004 extension. This is only a two foot extension. It might not be long enough. I might have to get uh, another one or a longer one. But essentially this will plug into the trailer and then plug into the vehicle. And it has this uh, heavy-duty pull here, so you don't have to worry about, you know, ripping the wires off. So this is a real simple design. Um, just comes with a couple of pieces that wraps around your existing plug. Um, you've got a cap to keep the weather out. A couple of screws to uh, close that enclosure. And then there's your uh, extension cable. Um, this this looks like a really nice cable so uh, even if all you need is an extension cable I've seen these in one foot and two foot lengths so you might want to just get one of these and add it to your extension your uh, cable anyway just to give you that extra strength to uh, connect and release um, the cable so let's start uh, working on getting this thing installed So the only thing you have to do in order to set this up is to take the two pieces of the enclosure and wrap it around um, the end of your cable that would plug into your car. Um, then you've got those two screws that just screw the two pieces together and then you attach it to your trailer. Um, it comes with a couple of tie wraps. Um, they say that that's a no drill solution. but um, you really ought to mount this with some uh, self-tapping screws or some kind of a bolt or something. Um, it doesn't come with any hardware to mount. It only comes with the tie wraps. Um, so, you know, it's up to you on how you want to make that connection. All right, I got this all attached. So we'll take a look at it here. Got this... Uh, Reese tow power uh, housing for your cable so kind of cleans it up a lot you don't have your cable laying down hanging over getting in the way so let's see how easy it is to plug this cable in okay that's pretty easy got the cable it's only two feet long I'm not sure it's gonna be long enough um, I might have to get an extension for it, but uh, I'll get the same thing, maybe just the one foot extension. That'd make it perfect. So here's the real test. Let's see how easy it is to uh, pull this thing off. Comes off easy, everything's in place. I think this is going to be a good solution. What I used to attach this with was some self tapping uh, metal screws. And I used uh, the Tex brand, just number eight, half inch, in case anybody's wondering. This Reese Tow Power uh, housing does not come with screws to attach it to your frame, so you're going to have to pick up uh, some self-tapping screws for that. Or you can drill it out and uh, put some bolts in there. If you look on the back side. Just got... Uh, Got my cables wrapped up, and uh, I put another uh, self-tapping screw 
into this holder here that holds your wires on. So that'll keep them from uh, falling off. So all in all, I'm happy with this solution. And uh, I recommend picking it up. I'll put links in the description in case you guys want to pick up this housing and, uh, and this uh, extension cable. Okay, in addition to uh, cleaning things up here, you know, I'm getting rid of all the uh, extra cabling and getting that out of the way. Another thing that this does is it provides a little extra security. Um, if for some reason somebody was going to try to steal your trailer, they wouldn't be able to hook up the uh, lights unless they have an extra cable themselves. So that's just you know one added step of security. A couple other things I did. is I fixed this light. This was uh, one of the busted lights uh, when I bought the trailer that uh, allowed me to get uh, a discount. Um, turns out that it was just uh, one of the wires had come loose. So I uh, took it apart and uh, put some shrink wrap around everything and uh, connected the wires back up. So this one should be good to go. And then if you come around here to this side I also replaced this uh, rear light as well. This one, if you remember, was completely busted off. Um, so I got the replacement and uh, hooked it all up and uh, now uh, should be good to go. Everything on the trailer is complete. The only thing I've got left to do now is to move this cabin over here and I'll hopefully I'll be able to get to that next week but uh, we'll see if nothing comes up all right that's it for this week thanks for watching